Oh well, my voice holds up. That's the that's the biggest caveat. We could do some forbidden soup and burning. Burning in forbidden soup. What a what a title. <laughs> yeah, we've not, really not done so much of the book work, huh? Kind of done. We just we just live on scrolls. If they, if anyone asks, like, what was the longest bit of this cosplay? It's just scrolls, all of it. Just scrolls all the way down. Ooh, ooh, that was a very aggressive sound. Apologies. I might be just a little bit, a little bit too intense. Uh, why is the soup forbidden? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is just tea, but I feel like once I start dunking um, these canvases in it, if it starts leaching chemicals, I don't think I particularly want to drink that tea <laughs> after that point. At that point, I think it may be a little bit forbidden. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Uh, I mean, the scrolls are long, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just the amount of, the amount of calligraphy that's gone into these boys. It's like, it's a little bit unhinged, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, you've all been here for this, this nonsense. So you, you all know, <laughs> better than perhaps anybody else. Ooh, oh, that was a, that was a good fray on the bottom of that one. Right. Yeah, my only slight concern about doing tea on stream is that I think it might require a bit of focus and also water and computer things I'm like slightly dubious on. <laughs> like I do not particularly trust this combination. Um, right, okay, this scroll has been done. Let's let's make a done pile because I'm getting confused. Has this one had any ripping? It's had some. <laughs> Some, but not a lot. Okay, let's let's do the bottom of this scroll. And then we'll take on the biggest scroll. Ooh, that, was, that was quite the chunk out of that bit. Yeah, just steadily, steadily shredding <laughs> bits of this cosplay. Uh, all of our hard work made to look ancient. Yeah, I think at the moment they were they were looking at just a little bit too crisp. Like they looked beautiful, but they were very crisp. Which I don't think particularly works for the Warhammer universe because it's a gr it's a grimdark universe. Every everything's a little bit dank over there. I think Zeta Zeta can certainly attest to that. Of the just being, well, very familiar with that universe. Everything's terrible. Nobody's having a good time. Right, there we are. I think that is sufficiently frayed around the edges now. This one is looking like it's had a good amount of fray. I think just a tiny bit more on this bit and I think we'll be good. Orcs. Orcs are having a good time. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, that, that tracks. That tracks. That adds up. That sounds consistent with the Warhammer lore that we've we've come to know and love. That one's definitely done. And this one has a little bit, but not entirely. Yeah, I think in the, the game of uh, orcs are always having a good time, heck yeah. Oh, interesting. I'm now like slightly concerned. Hmm, I think I'll have to do a test. I mean like, I've definitely, I did a test before, but I'm slightly concerned that despite this being very bleed proof ink, it is somewhat bleeding. Because like there's, there's some dampness somewhere. I think possibly from tea. And it's causing it to bleed in ways I was not expecting, which means we might not be able to actually weather it in tea. <laughs> we might have to do some dry weathering <laughs> with like the pastels that we did for the, the gifted notebook that time. I <laughs> think we might have to go down that route. Yeah, I think in the game of if you could be sucked into a fantasy universe, which which one would you want? Warhammer is so far down that list. That, that, is, that is bottom of the pile right next to Game of Thrones. <laughs> just nobody, nobody wants to be in that universe. It's just bad times all round. 
It's, yeah, it's just not, it's not good, is it? Right, I think Abex's last one here is pretty much ready to roll. We'll do, I think we'll do the weathering on Neds. I don't need to finish Neds. Is that, is that how we book in soon by doing, actually doing that last bit? Yeah, I think Lord of the Rings, depending on where you are, I think that's that's an okay fantasy universe to end up in. I think that one's all right. Centaur world, absolutely hysterical, very cursed. But would I want to be in that universe? I I reckon, in the scheme of things, I reckon Centaur world, that's all right. That's an okay universe to end up in. It's very a lot, more than a little bit cursed. Owl House, that would be a top tier universe to get sucked into. Million out of ten. Uh, but if you had to end up in Warhams, then where where would you want to end up? I mean, I don't know if it's just because it's the most familiar thing to me now, but there's a bit of me that's like, well, you know what, Navigators, I mean, they've got to do all the warp stuff, which is probably not great, but until that point, they, they're they like nobility. They, they've all right. Harry Potter's on it depends on uh, when, like, after the OG series. It's pretty good, I think. Yeah, after that point, it's like, yeah, probably all right. Probably okay. Right, um, let's do oh, the big scroll. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be possibly mildly painful. It's like so, 